Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are the team making our software about. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. It has become the key objective of the global education revolution. And there are different types of STEM robot kits, and they are popular all over the world. We learn from basic science and technology knowledge that most of these robot kits are made of metal and plastic, actuated by gears and motors. But what if we remove all of them? And can we still make a robot that can walk or even swimming? The answer is yes. In recent 10 years, a new type of robot, soft robot, is developing. No gear and metal plastic, no gears and motors. Inspired by nature, only rubber and pressure of gas can make them alive. Soft robots is welcomed by your top journals and your top universities. Concerning the unique appearance and good knowledge involved in soft robots, we really want to introduce them to children here. So, we combine soft robots with STEM education. Our product includes the soft robot education kit components and related STEM courses. And we will develop different kits for different age groups. In the first stage, our market mainly focuses on the primary and secondary schools in Hong Kong and Shenzhen. And we have developed two robot kits so far for demonstration, the Kid Octopus and Sensity Plant. And these are the models for demonstration. And uh, take the octopus, for example. The making process is different and interesting. So actually, you do not have a robot lag. You need to pour liquid silicon rubber into the mold, wait for certification to get one. And we will also teach students the design principle and uh, how to program it, and also the biology involved with it. And uh, if you succeed, you can see the octopus work, or the sensitive plant feel you touch. We not only want students to enjoy the processing of making a soft robot, but also set a lot of questions to inspire them to think and to learn. And we also try our best to involve as much as STEM knowledge as we can in every aspect of STEM education. And apart from mechanical, mathematical, and programming, students can also learn biology and material science that are seldom mentioned in existing robot products. We need funding for market promotion. In the summer, we plan to hold free workshops for local schools and communities to get valuable feedback, which is very important for product improvement. And in December, we will not participate in the Learning and Teaching Expo to advertise our product. We hope we could sell our product to one to two schools in Hong Kong and Shenzhen. And in the future, we hope to expand our seal and also open up a software of a club for after school activities. STEM education industry is going rapidly nowadays. The Hong Kong government directly gives money to local schools to develop STEM courses. And the STEM startups are getting huge investment from investment agencies. As for the team, my team is Xue Ming. She's a year one PhD student in science education in Hong Kong U. And before that, she already got two master degrees in science education. She has rich experience and professional knowledge in course design. And as for me, I'm a year two PhD student in mechanical engineering in Hong Kong U. And I, I have made software robots for more than two years. I made a lot of advanced software robots, and I've seen a lot of software robots. And I also won second prize in the international software robot competition, also present in international robotic conferences. So thank you very much, and let's make software robots together. So currently, we have uh, two uh, designs already. Yeah, 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 we have two what prototypes. What would be the pace of your developing the new soft robots? We are developing some, uh, actually these two kits are kind of middle level kits, and we are developing kits that are more simple than this, and also are more advantageous than this. So how long it would take, uh, and what? I think uh, we, we can design one, uh, two robot kits in one month. Yeah, it's uh, kind of the pace. Uh, in my job, I actually know a lot of people doing this. Now, um, can, can you tell me, Am I right that you are you are just using uh, basic soft robotic printing technologies and then uh, turn it into an educational tool, right? Yeah, yeah. It is not um, it is not developing new technologies uh, for for printing soft robots, nor it is for introducing new functions to the soft robots. Am I right? Yeah, I'm trying. We are trying to introduce the soft robotics technologies to the 
uh, Asian students uh, because Harvard University actually they have hold several workshops in USA but uh, as far as we, we know in Asia there are few educators doing this kind of job so, so we think we should introduce this kind of different robotic technologies to students here. Um, I would like to understand more about you know the business side of it you know the, 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 the uh, 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 timing, how replicable uh, uh, is the things that you have done so far on new models and so on, and what's the cost of production and those things? Yeah. Uh, okay, so so far we just developed these two prototypes because we only got inspiration in uh, this year, in the at the beginning of this year, and uh, uh, in this summer, uh, as my uh, teammate Xue Min, she's a PhD student in education, so she will she will need to conduct workshops for schools for her research. So we will apply our products for her research to get some feedback, and and at the same time we will develop some new products at the same time, and uh, we hope we could sell well, at least. Uh, Sell, sell our product to at least one to two schools in Hong Kong, and at the same time, we will try to open software book club to attract students for the after school activities. And uh, as for the uh, cost, actually, these two prototypes, uh, the, the, the plastic part, they are 3D printing. So it's quite expensive, but once we have decided what uh, they will be like, we, we can use uh, some mass production. Uh, such like uh, injection modeling, and the price will be uh, quite lower. Uh, the price, the cost for this uh, robot is about uh, uh, three hundred Hong Kong dollars. So we think by by then the cost could could be lower than one hundred Hong Kong dollars. And uh, we also need the customers also need to buy some very basic components. But uh, once they buy these components, all they need is buying the silicon rubber material and the mold for robot for their use and the related courses. Okay. Yes, thank, thank you very much. much.